Howdy folks, this is Shane. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a comparison between two wireless transmitter and receiver packs, the X-Vive U3 and the new XB3, which I'm using right now. Now, I already did a review of the new XB3 on this particular channel. If you missed that, I'll put a link up in the cards. And then one of the things that I noticed about this particular pack is when you walk away from the camera and turn around, it kind of cuts out. So I want to see if the X5 does exactly the same thing. So we're going to test this in a couple of different ways. The first test is I'm just going to walk backwards and sort of see how far we can get without turning around, making sure I don't trip over anything because I've got a bit of a dodgy knee right now. <laughs> and that would make things way, way worse. So I'm just, I'm not really counting my steps for this particular test. I'm just going to go back as far as I think it will work based on my last test. And hopefully this proves the point that if you're always facing the camera with nothing in between, then it should work hopefully pretty well. So let's just have a quick look behind me. I think I'm good. So already I'm quite a ways back from the camera, as you can tell. And this is going straight into my Panasonic GH5. So if I keep walking back, we should still have signal. I don't know if it's cut out or not yet. If it does, I'm going to post some annotations on the screen. But from my last, it should work from here, no problems at all. So what I'm going to do now is turn around and talk, and we're going to see if it cuts out. So. But yeah, definitely facing the camera should work a whole lot better. So we're going to walk back to the camera now with the new XB3 and make sure that it all works. I actually said the wrong one, which is why you saw a cut possibly just before. But uh, yeah, so this is the new X walking back towards the camera. I'm going to do the same test in just a moment, give or take, with the X5. So yeah, let's uh, speed this up and we'll get over to the next test. All right, now over to the X Vive wireless pack. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to walk backwards and talk. And this will basically assume a direct line of sight to the camera without turning around. It should be fine. So I'm going to walk back to roughly where I was before. I didn't mark it on the ground, but let's hope we, uh, we get a compar comparable result here just by eyeballing this. And I'm still walking backwards right here. I just like to keep an eye out on where I'm walking. So I'm already quite a ways back already. Maybe not quite as far as before. I may actually mark the sand this next time around, which would probably have been the smarter thing to do. So we'll go back to about here. That's probably where I was before. Now if I turn around, cuts out or not. Just to see if it cuts out. Turning back around towards the camera, is the audio okay? If not, I guess I'll post some annotations on screen and then we'll do a quick walk back to the camera now and just make sure everything's okay in terms of just walking because you never know, you know, if you're sitting at a desk, wireless packs are probably pretty safe. It's when you get them out into these kind of situations, you sort of find out whether or not they work properly in, in you know, the outdoor environment. You couldn't ask for a better environment than this beach. It's a little windy today, but overall it's pretty nice. So hopefully this works all right. I guess we'll find out in post. Up next, we're gonna do the walking away without the line of sight to the camera. So I'm gonna have the transmitter between my body and the camera. So I'm essentially gonna be turned around. Now at this distance, it will work. I already know that, it should be pretty fine. But as I walk away, you'll find out how quickly it actually breaks up. So I'm not even gonna go back to where I was before because I know it's gonna glitch. And then we'll go back over to the X5. So this is the new XB3. All right, so here we go. This is the test. This kind of shocked me. Did this test because the line uh, was broken. It was highly unreliable. One thing to take into account is if you're in a populated area, say you're at an event, and you're not always facing the camera you might experience those dropouts, and that's just one of those things. I guess, you know what, if it works now, I'd be really surprised, but I'm interested to see whether or not the um, the X5 actually works better than the new X walking away from the camera. This is one of those tests that I'm keen to find out. I haven't actually done this type of test with it. This works okay to gig, or well, both of them work okay to gig when you got that line of sight thing, but out in the real world, things work sometimes a little bit differently. All right, and lastly, back to the X5. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, turn around from the camera and walk. 
and fingers crossed this one works a little bit better. Now I'm not 100% certain how this will work in this particular test but I'm going to keep rattling so we can see how quickly or if we lose signal like we I'm going to turn around and see if it now works. Odds are it's going to work fine facing the camera. Did it work the entirety of the time facing away from the camera? I guess we'll find out in post. Thanks for watching, folks. My name's Shane. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and also click that bell. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this project into Final Cut and then I'm going to just film my reaction and just explain a little bit about what I was hearing between both of these packs. Now, please let me know in the comments which one sounded better if you could hear a difference between them. Hopefully the wind's not blowing out the microphone, but we should be good to go. All right, let's get into it. All right, I'm back home. I've got the project loaded up in Final Cut and I've done the majority of the edits and I've also heard and sort of assessed which one I like the best and why. Now, before we get into that, I just need to apologize for my shirt. It was stuck on the zip on my jeans. I can't believe it. What an embarrassing, epic fail. Now, if you haven't seen my GH5 review, my shirt was butchered on that as well. But anyway, that's just, I apologize for that up front. That's terrible. <laughs> but anyway, the point of the video is which one of these sets is better? You know what? I'm pretty disappointed in them both in terms of their performance. In terms of their overall range, when facing the camera, they're both good. I think overall the X5 performed better in just about every situation. Walking backwards from the camera, the X5 was slightly better. Walking towards the camera, it didn't glitch at all. Now, last time I tested the new X, it didn't glitch walking towards the camera, so I'm not too sure what was going on. Everything was set up exactly the same way as it was last time, my GH5 with the XLR audio adapter. You know what? It comes down to this. I don't know if I would trust either of these at a public event, if there's people walking in front of the camera and so forth. Odds are the signal is going to get lost. I think that's... It kind of almost makes these a little bit pointless if you're going to be at a public event. Maybe really close proximity to the camera would be fine. Like if there's no one passing between you and the camera, you shouldn't have any issues. But as soon as I turned around and started to walk, both sets failed. And I think that's a little bit disappointing. In terms of audio quality, I couldn't hear any difference at all. Let me know your thoughts on that. All I do to the audio in post-production is just click this loudness tab in the audio preferences and essentially what this will do is act like a very slight compressor and that is it. I even do the same thing on my shirt microphone. Now in terms of physical build quality, they're both pretty much on par with each other. I'm not gonna go ahead and give the nod to either of them in terms of being better than the next. I guess one of the advantages of the X5 pack is they're slightly smaller in physical size to the new X. Now the new X's advantage is the fact that when you turn it on, you can see how much battery life is left. The LEDs flash, meaning it's full. And depending on where the light is, that's how much battery life you've got on when you first turn them on. So that's an advantage to some people who might want to monitor their battery all the way. Now, in terms of this, you can't monitor the battery. It's either on or it doesn't work. And that's just one of those things. In terms of how many channels you can choose, they're identical like that as well. You both get six channels you can choose from, and they both run on the same frequency band. So. Uh, they're very, very similar to each other. One's not better than the other, in, at least in terms of build quality. Thanks again for watching, folks. My name's Shane. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and also click that little notification bell. Let me know if you already own one of these packs and what you think about them and how they perform in the situations that you use. And I'll pin the most relevant post down in the comments section. If this video was also helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that as well. If you're thinking about buying a pack, I'll leave some links in the description and you can also check those out. They also help support the channel, so thank you so much. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you soon. See ya.